Greetings. Uh, today we're talking about uh, Section 5-1, Multiplying Fractions. And we're going to use an area model to help us understand the multiplication of fractions. We're going to start by modeling a couple problems, and that's going to start with Step 1, which is to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to start by drawing a nice rectangle, and you'll see, oh, such a nice rectangle. Well done. That rectangle will be the area that we're calculating. The next thing we're going to do is divide our area into five sections because we're multiplying two-fifths times three-fourths. So step two is to divide vertically into equal sections, the same number of sections as the denominator of the first number. In that case, in this case, that's five sections. So there's one section, two sections, three sections, and then four and five sections. Five sections approximately equal uh, is the first the step two. Step three is to color in a number of vertical strips equal to the numerator of the first number. The numerator of the first number is two, so I'm going to color in two vertical strips. Again, if you were in class, you know Mrs. Mashburn, my kindergarten teacher, was very proud of my coloring. And she should be. Look at how nicely I did. Step four. You can see we're at step four at this point. Step four is to divide the rectangle horizontally into equal sections. There should be as many sections as the denominator of the second number. The second number is three-fourths. The denominator is four. So I'm going to divide horizontally into four sections. Split it in half, and then split each section of each half in half. That'll give me fourths. We're pretty close to fourths. Step five is to color in a number of horizontal strips equal to the numerator of the second number. The numerator of the second number is three. So I'm going to color in three horizontal strips. And again, my coloring is maybe not world-renowned, but perhaps um, just the pride of, of Mrs. Mashburn. Once we've done this, the, the, the only remaining step is to describe the area where the two colors overlap. So we can do that by counting squares. We have one, two, three, four, five, six squares where the two colors overlap. So that's six squares. But the question then is out of how many squares? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty squares. So six of the twenty squares were colored with both colors. So our answer in this case is six twentieths. And if you do some more models, you can probably see a connection between the numerators in the problem and the numerator in the answer. The numerators, the denominators in the problem and the denominators in the answer. And you can see two and three, six. Well, when we multiply two times three, we get six, five, four, twenty. When we multiply five times four, we get twenty. So this is what we're going to do to calculate fraction multiplication. In order to multiply fractions, we're going to multiply the numerators to get the numerator and the product, multiply denominators to get the denominator and the product, and then simplify the product if necessary. One other thing we need to keep in mind is when we're multiplying by a whole number, we're going to give the whole number the denominator 1 and then utilize the multiplication strategy we just discussed. We'll look at two examples here. The first is 5 eighths times 2 thirds. So if we were to write that problem down, I'd write 5 eighths times 2 thirds. And now I'm going to multiply. I'm going to multiply the numerators. 5 times 2 is going to give me 10. And then multiply denominators. 8 times 3 is going to give me 24. Now, 10 24 so I can see, both of those numbers are divisible by 2. So I can divide numerator and denominator by 2 to simplify the fraction. And in this case, when I do that, I'll get 5 twelfths as the fraction in simplest form. So my answer in this particular case, in this problem, my answer is going to be 5 twelfths. The second problem, number 2, is a little bit different because in the second problem, we have a whole number. And if we remember from the previous page, when multiplying by a whole number, give the whole number the denominator 1, and then utilize the multiplication strategy. So we're going to rewrite this problem, and instead of 3, we're going to write 3 over 1. We're going to multiply that by 1 fifth. And now we'll multiply numerator times numerator, and that'll give us 3. 
denominator times denominator, and that will give us 5. And 3 fifths is already in simplest form, so our solution in the second example is 3 fifths. That's the basics of multiplying fractions, and I hope uh, that sums it up nicely for you.